if this setting application in your android device crashes or closes as soon as you open it then let us see some of the steps to fix the issue now the first thing that we will do is we will restart our iphone sometimes restarting the iphone might fix the issue after you have restarted the iphone the next thing that you will do is you will update the version of android software that is present in your android device if it is available so i will go to settings i will scroll down and go to software update and I will select this option download and install the device will check if there is any update pending and if there is you need to update it now once you have updated your Android device or if your device is up to date but still the issue continues then the other thing that you can do is you can try to check if there is any app that is causing the settings application to crash so for that one what you need to do is you need to restart your device in safe mode now the process of restarting your end to device might depend on the model of your device for me what i will do is i will press this power button and then i will tap on this power off button and then i will tap on the power off button you can see there is safe mode so i will tap on this safe mode and i will restart my device in safe mode so once you have restarted your device in safe mode open the settings application and see if the app still crashes or not now if the app still crashes that means none of the app is causing the issue but if you see that in safe mode settings app does not crashes that means there is certain application that is causing the issue now here you have to remember after which app you install the problem started to occur if you can remember it you can uninstall that application and see if it fixes the issue now if you are not sure which application you installed the last time then what you can do is you can remove four or five applications which you think you install lately and see if this will fix the issue or not now after this the other thing that you can do is you can wipe out the cache partition of your android device to see if the issue can be fixed now if you want to wipe out the cache partition of your android device then at first you have to start your android device in recovery mode now this also depends on the model of the android device now for samsung device what i have to do is i have to, I have to at first switch off the device so power off power off so let me switch off the device completely so once the device is completely switched off what i will do is i will press this power button big speed button and volume button at the same time and once i see the samsung logo i will leave it now you can see that my device is restarting in recovery mode now once you have restarted your device in recovery mode you can see some of the options here and there is one option here wipe cache partition so i will press this volume down button to select this option wipe cache partition and i have to press this power button in order to activate this option now there is a warning message here wipe cache partition this cannot be undone now when you wipe out the cache partition only the cache files will be deleted no data will be lost from your android device so you can safely delete the cache partition i will press volume down button to select yes and then press the power button now the cache file has been deleted and then reboot system now is automatically selected so what i will do is i will press this power button and my device will be restarted so once you restart your device try to see if the settings app can work or not now once you have wiped out the cache partition and rebooted your android device if the problem still occurs then the only option for you to fix the issue is to factory reset your android device now when you factory reset your android device all the data and document will be lost so you should have your android device already backed up now if you want to factory reset your android device what we will do is we will go to this apps screen now since this settings app crashes as soon as you open it we will tap on this search box and then we will look for the option factory
factory data reset and we will select it and then we will again select this option factory data reset and if you see at the bottom here there is option factory data reset we will open it now once you do a factory data reset everything will be deleted all the accounts you have used all the downloaded apps music everything will be deleted all of these applications will be deleted so if you are sure you want to do the factory data reset you will select this option reset and your system your endo device will go back to the factory state and this will surely fix the issue now in case if you are not able to open factory data reset by searching from the finder box because it crashes then what you do is you can go to the recovery mode i have already shown you how to go to recovery mode in samsung device and after that you will go down there is an option here you will press the volume down button and there is an option wipe data factory reset so you will select it and you will press this power button to activate the option then the device will be factory reset and it will fix the settings app from crashing as i told you before all the data will be deleted so your phone should have been already backed up